Welcome to today's Story Read Aloud. Make sure you subscribe to our page and like this video. And now, George's Amazing Adventures. Donuts for a Dragon. Written by Adam and Charlotte Gillian. Illustrated by Lee Wildish. A boy called George had a brilliant idea to be like the heroes of old. He would go off and search for a dragon to prove he was fearless and bold. So George built a time machine and packed his bag with some snacks that a hero might eat. There were cakes and pies and buns and a bottle of fizz and donuts, the ultimate treat. Then George climbed aboard and he twisted a dial. So it pointed to long, long ago. With a whoosh, he was off, shooting backwards through time till his time machine started to slow. The time machine stopped and George opened the door. Was his journey through time a success? He saw something lurking behind a large bush. Then... Boo! said a cheeky princess. I'm seeking a dragon, gasped George in surprise. Take this map then, she said. But beware. There are terrible monsters who lurk around here, and they'll eat you if you don't take care. George gave her a cake to say thanks for the map, and away on his scooter he flew. The princess looked lonely, then said to herself, Well, then, I'll have an adventure too. George hadn't gone far when he heard a strange noise. In the shadows, he saw something sitting. Was a horrible dragon sharpening its claws? Click, clack. No, a witch was just doing her knitting. Come here, said the witch with a sinister grin. I feel peckish and you look just right. Have this fruit pie instead, offered George with a gulp. Because I'm seeking a dragon to fight. Eek! Shrieked the witch and she trembled with fear. A dragon's a terrible brute. It can breathe deadly fire, and that will roast you for sure. You better go home. Off you scoot! I'm not afraid, said George as he rode further on, till he saw puffs of smoke up ahead. Was a fire-breathing dragon lying in wait? No, an ogre was toasting some bread. Yum, said the ogre, lifting George up. I'll have you for dinner tonight. Don't eat me, cried George. Ha -ha -have, have these ice buns instead, because I'm seeking a dragon to fight. Eep, yelled the ogre in fear. A dragon is scary and wild. It has many sharp claws and such jaggedy teeth. You should run away home, crazy child. The ogre ran off with a terrified howl, and George carried on up the track. He was starting to think he had made a mistake, but was it too late to turn back? Then he stopped as a shadow fell over the path. From the branches above came a creak. Was a hideous dragon about to attack? Then George heard a bone-chilling squeak. The fierce little dragon then narrowed its eyes. It breathed out fiery flames in a flash. George reached into his bag for his bottle of fizz. And he put out the fire with a splash. Then George pulled out a donut and threw it up high. The dragon looked up and it froze. It leaped off the ground and then squeaked in surprise as the donut fell plop on its nose. The dragon looked up and it burst into tears. Please stop laughing, it managed to say. I'm ever so lonely and never make friends. No one sees that I just want to play. Then, all of the sudden, the princess leapt out. You poor little dragon, she said. I want someone to play with. Will you be my pet? Delighted, it nodded its head. They feasted on donuts until the sun set and the dragon breathed flames hot and bright. Then George and the princess did daredevil stunts 
and the new friends played all through the night. <laughs>